as yeah we're back we're back on arabia this time it's desert arabia not green arabia and it is hera again hera's playing as the Teutons, which is a sieve i like very much uh i used to win with them and then i decided to play another sieve and i lost 200 elo so there you go therefore Teutons are good all right mbl on the other hand is playing as the bulgarians which are a very interesting civilization um they're very strong early they get their free militia line upgrades when they advance to the next age they're not getting champion though as far as i'm aware um they can build crep posts they get semi-decent cav archer which is like the Teutons' biggest weakness it's like the achilles heel of the Teutons is um cav archer the reason being that Teutons are super slow their cavalry are strong but they don't get husbandry which means they're really really slow and uh, they get plus one melee armor uh from castle age and imperial age which makes their knights super tanky but it's melee armor it's not pierce armor so it doesn't help them against their uh, archers so let's see bulgarians are not getting very good archers generally but uh cav archer might be the way to go here we might see that play from mbl let's see let's see let's see anyway let's talk about the maps mbl with a very good map except for the wood <laughs> no it's very nice wood back here one very safe wood line very safe gold very safe berries another gold that's kind of safe stone isn't terrible kind of forward another wood up here so maybe uh, Mr. MBL will go for some funky walls here. Just wall towards his TC this way and maybe this way and have safe wood, gold, and berries uh, as the game goes on. Hera, on the other hand, has forward berries, back gold, two side wood lines, but kind of safe. He can think about walling towards his TC as well um, or maybe walling towards his berries. Has gold out here and stone on the front. Um, But let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is going to be a good one. This is really, I, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can feel this might be a fun game. Uh, MBL should be playing Cav Archer here, as far as I'm aware. I'm trying to get comfortable in this seat. Because, like, Bulgarians, besides Cav Archer, which, again, they don't get fully upgraded Cav Archer, but it might just end up being the play. They're kind of a strong civilization, like the Teutons, in terms of, like, strong infantry, strong cavalry. They're getting Conic, which is the, like, heavy Cav unique unit which gets up off the horse after you kill it and is a strong uh, infantry unit Newtons aren't getting good archers um to deal with that but the thing is that if you try and get into like a melee battle with the Teutons, you're just gonna lose basically they're just way too strong they have the strongest paladin in the game uh, against other paladin at least they have teutonic knights which are the strongest melee unit in the game as far as i'm aware except for maybe Persian war elephant i could be wrong about that but they're definitely up there also their units are resistant to conversion so like you definitely don't want to get into an arm wrestle with the Teutons. basically it's not in your interest <laughs> well let's see how mbl plays this It'll be very very interesting to see all right mbl bringing in an elephant here no mistakes from him takes it down idle tc time non-existent for both players very very clean and yeah, let's see if they've scattered each other out a bit. Uh, MBL looking for Hera. Um, hasn't found them yet. Hera building a barracks now at 17 pops. So maybe it's going to be Drush from him. Maybe he feels that his berries are so exposed that he needs to do this to get a bit of get a bit of uh, map control early so he can take his berries. He's not doing that though. He's just taking two elephants straight off the bat. Um, but has 18 villagers already. Two militia on the way. So based on the timing here, yeah, it might just be a normal Drush. He's going out to his berries now. MBL will finally spot this. Has Hera scouted MBL? Yeah. He sees MBL now. Just immediately scouts this barracks in the middle of nowhere from MBL. Okay. So MBL will probably go for men-at-arms into archers, right? Makes sense with the Bur uh, Bulgarians, right? You don't have to get the men-at-arms upgrade because they get it for free and instantly, which is very strong. It's a nice power spike for them early feudal. And let's see how he follows up. I guess he'll probably try go man at arms into archers and then cav archer. I know I'm keep saying cav archer over and over again, but it literally is what comes into people's minds when they think of the Teutons and how to counter them. Um, cav archer. And Bulgarians, cav archer are not terrible. Not fully upgraded though. Anyway, I'll stop talking about it unless it happens. All right. Villagers, yeah, not the most efficient there. Um, from MBL, a bit of unorthodox building going on over here. He's on his stragglers. Trying to wall off here, trying to wall in front of his TC, which is nice. Has two villagers here doing it, gonna trap the scouts. Uh, but Hera can escape here. Uh, MBL bringing his scout back though, lost some HP on his scout, so I guess ran it under the TC a bit. 
Here comes the militia, though. So, yeah. NBL obviously scouted this. And that's why he wanted to race up the walls. Gonna wall towards his TC now. So, nice play by NBL. Gonna negate this early pressure from Hera. Look to get his own militia out soon, right? Yeah, he's making it militia now. Just made well, one on the way. Gonna sit back and defend here. Will he add some more? He's not onto gold. Right? That's kind of weird, right? If you're going men at arms, I know he gets it for free, so we can go to gold a bit later, but you still need to make your militia, right? Making them now, but wants to send them across the map. I don't think he needs to sit at home and defend against this from Hera. Let's see. Yeah, NBL just going to go forward. I think that's the correct decision. Hera still hanging around the back with his scouts. NBL fully walled down here, so Hera won't be able to get in. And NBL, yeah, just go forward. Go forward. Waiting for his other militia, and now we'll go across the map. Men at Arms is in. NBL. Now he's moving forward, so a bit of indecision there from NBL, honestly. I would have liked to have seen him moving forward earlier, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Garrison is TC here. Militia probably going to come home for Hera to try and defend. Um, Yeah, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Hera to defend. He might have to leave his berries. His berries are really exposed. Unless he wants to get creative with the walls. Uh, which obviously he can do. Hera is super good at walling. Um, might actually take some damage here, but he knows this is coming. He has to know this is coming. Let's see how he reacts. He's moving on to gold now, so probably thinking about an uh, archery range just to get rid of this pressure. Uh, maybe some archers early on. Um, but let's see. Hera, come on. Come on. No way. No way. I don't understand uh, how he doesn't react there. And he's going to lose a villager. Um... And it's coming home with his militia now, which are going to be next to useless against this army. And MBL has to be happy with that damage, and Hera not walling. Archer range coming up for Hera now, so archers will be a nice way to deal with this. But in some way, the damage is already done. Uh, double bid axe is in. And what's MBL adding behind this? Nothing, really. He's in feudal age. Oh, he just has his barracks. He's adding a spearman. And that's it. He's going to look to go up to the... I don't know. I don't know what his plan what he's planning here. He's not making an archery range or a stable. Uh doesn't have enough wood to do any of that yet. His eco's not looking fantastic. Uh so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hera will be able to defend here, no problem. Lost that villager. Alright. Is he gonna suspect that Emil just won't do anything now? Like, is he expecting an archer follow-up? Not sure. Hera's now making his archers, but doesn't need the archers to defend anymore, theoretically, right? These guys shouldn't be able to just break in somewhere. Um, I mean, having a few archers at home to defend over the walls is fine, but archers long-term for the Teutons is not a thing. <laughs> so, let's see. Hera's coming forward with his militia again. Maybe if he brings his archers forward, it's the play. But uh, right now, he's just keeping them at home. Da -da -da -da. Idle TC time. Creeping up a tiny bit for Hera, but nothing much. MBL with a 1 villager lead, or 1.5 villager lead, depending. Um, and yeah, everyone's being very peaceful right now. They'll settle down a bit. Here comes Hera with the Drush. A very weakened Drush. Um, I don't see what he does here. Okay, MBL is adding skirmishers now, so he's expecting the archers to arrive at his base, which is honestly what I would expect. Well, anyway, men at arms going to finally attack the wall here. Um, yeah, no. Maybe MBL's thinking, like, he knows Hera's going to make archers, so he's like, I'm going to wait until he moves out with his archers, or like, guess that he's moving out with his archers, and then attack with my men at arms so he's out of position. Maybe that's his thinking and the timing there, because he made the, the decision, right? If he wanted to immediately put on, like, some aggression with his men, men at arms, he would have done it. Like, it's not like he just forgot about them. So that's a conscious decision there. Um, and maybe that's the reason why. Okay, now Hera gonna move out. Blacksmith coming up at the back now. More skirmishers for MBL, so he'll be able to defend this perfectly well. Um... Yeah, MBL maybe gonna lose his men at arms here. Maybe he wants to send his skirmishers forward to try and save them, but at this stage, it doesn't really matter. The men-at-arms have are not going to be useful anymore, um, as far as I can tell. Hera banking res, though. Both of them banking res, so everyone thinking about going up to the next A. Um, nice micro there by MBLC. Just brought the men-at-arms a bit closer to the, <laughs> to the archers and then moved away again. 
Just wanting, the, de wanting them to get a little bit closer, maybe move one more tile than Hera wanted, and uh, get some kills with the uh, with the skirmishers. Anyway, Hera gonna have to move back here. Hera's on the way to Castle Age. He's not gonna play archers after this. this I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Has two ranges though. Is now adding a stable. So yeah. It's probably just gonna be straight knights from him. And let's see how MBL adapts to this. He's still not clicking up yet. Um moving more villagers onto gold. This smells like Cav Archer. This really smells like Cav Archer to me. Uh Cav Archer is very gold heavy units. You don't require much of an elo, just tons and tons of uh, gold. Uh, much of an eco, excuse me. To play them well, you do require uh, e elo. <laughs> As I think I proved when I try and play Cab Archer on the ladder recently. Uh, okay, Men at Arms just walking in, doesn't give a shit. Uh, skirmishers have wandered in, trying to get some kills. Yeah, something that's underappreciated by skirmishers, like this might look like a ridiculous thing that MBL is doing, but they have high pierce armor, so they can sit underneath TCs, kind of, as long as it's not completely full. And you can maybe look to take out some villagers here. Stable being added by MBL. Okay. Like, this can still make sense for Cav Archer. I'm not giving up on the dream. Because you can get the cavalry upgrades and they will apply to your Cav Archers, right? Uh, bloodlines. Um, husbandry. Okay, Skirmishers being annoying back here. Scout added by Hera. Did he add one? Yeah. And he's going to clear up the skirms at the back of his base. So nice play. I wonder if that's the re <laughs> one of the reasons he built the stable. Just because it was so annoying. And Hera's going to play Archers here. So, fair enough. Uh, MBL already has the skirmishers, and again, the archers are not a long-term plan for the uh, for the Teutons. Okay, he's getting a monastery up now. Did he scout what was going on? Did he see the stables? All right. See? So, no, he didn't. So he just wants to get the relics, I guess. That's. The Teuton monks do have extra healing range, so that can be very useful in melee battles. Um. Yeah, Teutons are basically just set up to beat any other Civ in melee. That, and that's kind of their thing. Uh, but yeah, maybe MBL will be surprised here to see the archers. Um, and he's got a fully upgraded crossbow, right? So, still strong. And still end the game. And yeah, nice micro here by Hera. Moving within the min minimum range of the skirmishers. And we'll just take them out. MBL getting Bodkin Arrow now. And it will be Cav Archer. <laughs> Valorant, yeah. Imagine playing CA versus Teutons. Yeah, I only talked about it the whole time <laughs> once I saw the matchup. I was like, oh, he has to go Cav Archer. He has to go Cav Archer. He's going Cav Archer. Here we go. But yeah, is Cav Archer the play, though, when your opponent is uh, playing crossbow as the Teutons? I don't know. Let's see. All right, wheelbarrow on the way now for Hera. As, is he going to add more TCs? Teutons are getting the cheaper farms, remember. Um... And how is he going to adapt into this? Like, if he just plays Archer straight up, I think he's going to be okay. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, he's moving out here to a very vulnerable stone, but he is going to put a TC on it, so he should be safe from Cav Archers. How many Cav Archers are on the field? Not too many yet. Bloodlines on the way. Uh, armor coming in. Over here, scouts just yet yeah, scouting around. And yeah, this is an interesting one. This is an interesting one. Uh, when I was playing as the Teutons, this didn't come up as a solution to Cav Archer of playing crossbow, but maybe Hera's going to prove that that's the case. Because uh, Hera had to assume, he's like, oh, he's going to play Cav Archer for sure. So Hera's like, I'll play crossbow. And, and okay, try and win the game later on, or try and win the game in... Uh, try and win the game in Castle Age. Anyway, Hera's going to expand his eco back home. I really like this. I really like this play. Uh, when you're playing against Cav Archer, it just feels like every wood line is uniquely vulnerable and it's just awful so if you have tc's down even if you're not producing they can be a place for villagers to hide and try to get some damage defensive tc's more than for production oh yeah university now from the whoa good oh, lord yeah man hello 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 <laughs> joe How's it going, Poop Lord? How are all the Poop Nation people, the Pooper Troopers? Hope you had a nice stream, man. Uh, the ladder's on fire. We have MBL versus Hera here. MBL's playing Bulgarian Cav Archer into Hera's Teutons. And Hera's playing Crossbow as the Teutons. So, yeah. Highly unorthodox, but uh, interesting. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the raid. 
I figured I had to do some, like, speech reward points. Okay. Like, when people are in the chat, like, chatting a lot, it gives you points. They want to join a community of streamers. Why not? <laughs> I thought I already was. Uh, okay, Scout out here guarding the relic for MB uh, by MBL. Really neat play by him. Making use of the weak Scout called Phalanx. Okay. Oh, will it range it though? Oh, it doesn't. No, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. That is daylight robbery. Oh my goodness. Like they can say emotional damage. What? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I get you. I get you. I get you. Okay, crossbow dying to the cab archer here. So yeah, now skirmisher on the way for the Teutons and they don't get fantastic skirmishers. Um, here we go. All oh, right, cab archer seemed to be the play here. What is happening? Yeah, I'll, I'll check that. <laughs> Hoop Lord, thank you. All right. Um... Have Archer now out on the field, and uh, there's not many crossbow left for Hera at all, just 10, and like, yeah, MBL did well with his Cav Archers against them. Now it's going to be Skirmisher, so he's adding Siege. Makes complete sense. And yeah, what do you do now as the Teutons? <laughs> Make more crossbow. I don't know. Here's Poop Lord. All right, here are the, ca the crossbow Skirmisher combination for the Teutons. Monk's going to get sniped, trying to dodge. Wow. Ballistics is in, though, for MBL, so this is going to be incredibly difficult. This is a... Uh... Yeah, it's a hard counter to the Teutons. I mean, I, there's been situations where I have beaten Cav Archer Civs as the Teutons, so, uh, you know, Hera really has no excuses here. Um, one thing he can do is just go towers, go guard tower defense, and then look just to build up a big ball of knights and win it that way. Time to redemption, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, Cav Archer running away from the skirmishers. In terms of the villager situation, let's have a look. Hera with 20 more villagers. He's getting ballistics now. So yeah, Hera way ahead, kind of in his uh, eco. I researched redemption yesterday for like the first time ever. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun one. It can really mess with people. Like when you start converting the production buildings at the front to their base and then spamming units into their base. That's like one of the most fun things ever. I did that once against a guy playing Franks. I was playing as the Teutons, obviously. And uh, yeah, he got the upper hand with Knights. And I just came with Monks and converted everything. <laughs> it was glorious. All right. Hera being put under pressure here, though. Forward Siege from MBL. Gonna take out this TC. Again, Hera still with the... Okay, he's gonna switch into Knights. Here we go. Gonna switch into Knights. Going for Defensive Siege and Knights. And yeah, needs to get the upgrades on these guys. Um, has the extra melee armor, obviously, but it's not gonna help against the Cav Archer. Uh, he's so vulnerable here. MBL can just run in here and kill a lot of villagers. He's being very, very careful, though. Oh, my God, MBL. Don't let this window of opportunity... It's still open, MBL. Go. Oh. Okay. Hera is able to bring his army over in time, and, like, Hera gets away with murder there. But, yeah, this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. Three relics now gone. Five mangonels firing on this monastery. Cab Archer, yeah, just being positioned around the map here. Skirmishers over here. This feels very, very difficult for Hera here. Score lead has switched back. Hera still has way, way more villagers. MBL just on one TC, but yeah, I don't see how Hera stops this, honestly. Lots of knights, but oh, he has to come, he has to sneak around and try and take a big engagement, right? He has to snipe all of the siege with his knights, then try and snipe the Cab Archer with his crossbow skirmisher combination. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. One Mangonel sitting inside the Siege Workshop here. Whoops, excuse me. Mangonel being brought forward, though. Gonna try and take out this. It's a great way to end the game, yeah. It can seem so OP at times. Nuts. Alright. Did Hera get redemption? I must have missed that, if that's, if that's come in. That seems like a good play for Hera, no? He has so much gold, he has nothing to lose by getting redemption. He needs to build another monastery, though, if he didn't get it. Villagers dying on this wood line, though. Hera losing, yeah, losing lots of villagers. Can now can just run away. MBL can just run away from this if he wants to. Okay, he's just going to lose the Cav Archer. It is what it is. Hera with a monk out here. Okay. Um... 
Ooh, that's a nice shot by uh nice shot by Hera. MBL is, supposedly has the best Mangadel micro in the game. We're certainly up there anyway, so he's now gonna steal some of these relics and yeah. Nice play by him. Hera with so much gold though, what's he gonna do with it? He must feel like a bit out of sorts here. He's not spending his res. He doesn't have enough gold to do anything. Um Archer's going down, but the Mangonel's coming across. It feels so difficult. Second TC added over here on wood for MBL, so that's a nice play. More stables coming up for Hera, so I think he just needs to spam knights, get a big enough ball, and then just engage, just patrol in, see if he can do it. Anyway, knight's going to try and take out the Mangonels. And they will get a few of them. So this is actually a nice play by Hera. He has the score lead again now. Um... Ooh, okay, that's a huge move by Hera. He just brought himself back into the... Oh, ow. That hurts slightly. But yeah, now the skirmishers are here and they can push all of this back. So that's a nice play by Hera. He's definitely back in the lead after that. We're just being very patient. Getting up a few, enough knights to take a nice trade there. And uh, yeah, pushing everything back. And now this monastery is very <laughs> exposed. I think if you're an MBL, maybe you just eject one monk and one relic and just run away. Try and get, a, get it safe. Anyway... Hera gonna add a third TC over here. Now getting the second armor for his uh, knights. Maybe thought he had that already. Seems like something he should have gotten. Anyway, knights on the field for MBL. Not really gonna do much here. Um, oof. God. This is tough. This is really tough. Three Manganels still out on the field now. Monks healing up the knights back here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like, MBL has been able to push a bit, but he's kind of been stalled out now. And uh, Hera's eco might be good enough that he can just spam enough knights and just take this out. Um, MBL can obviously hit and run against the knights all day. But, um, you know, he has to kill. He has to kill Hera at some stage. You can't just hit and run with the, the, the cab archer all day. And Hera won't take bad fights. Uh, he's already shown how patient he is here. Okay, more archer range is coming at the back. So it's skirm knight defense. Um... Yeah, it's just gonna come down to unit control here. Meanwhile, Cab Archer running in underneath TCs. Manganel at the back here is gonna be okay in defense. And yeah, here we go. Here we're gonna try charge in again. MBL needs to pay attention here. Like, the whole reason the Cab Archers are good against Teutons is because they're fast. <laughs> He's not running away. No, MBL, no, it's such a throw. Loses all the siege. Cab Archers have to run away. And it's just like, man. Does he even have husbandry? I can't tell. Okay, so now Hera very much in control. 85 villagers for him, 73 for MBL. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Hera has ballistics on these skirmishers. Gonna be completely fine. Gonna try to take out this monastery. No worries. My god. Over here, Cav Archer running around. Gonna be trapped by the knight though. And the knight will take all of that out. Ba -ba -da -ba. Skirmishers will hopefully take this out. Lots of neat micro here. And yeah, they should take it out. Oh, oh, oh. No. Okay. MBL tried to be, uh, to be a bit cute there, but it doesn't work out for him. Meanwhile, he will take out these knights, but not after take, taking a lot of losses. Like, he's just not playing the cab archer as well. I don't know. Maybe he's focused on too many things at once, but there's not that much going on. Right. Okay, cab archer is now going to run in, try and get another raid. Hera will spot that, though, and just garrison immediately. Yeah, okay. Uh, of course he does. All right. Meanwhile, here comes MBL. He's going to go for a forward Krepos. Okay. Krepos rushing from him now. Hera has 21 on stone. But this is his stone. And yeah, that's very vulnerable now. He's on stone out here as well. So still going to be fine. Um, how's Shotel? How's the cast today going? Very good. Gamers DC, how are you doing, man? Hope you had a... Uh... Were you on earlier? I'm not sure if I saw. But um, yeah, the... The, the ladder is nuts. Leary's online, Viper's online, Hera's online, MBL's online, Yoa's online. All the top guys, so it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. Um, okay, Krepos is up now, and he's just going to drop another Krepos. So that's interesting. Hera with big economy, like really nice res, but he's, I don't know, maybe just wants to make more knights. Did he cut production for a while there? Feels kind of strange. Taking damage over here on villagers. Skirmisher is not able to do enough here. He's taken off gold. Just forcing, being forced to react a lot. Repos, I like the idea. I really like the idea here. Hera trying to get out of dodge with his monks. Oh no, that's that's unfortunate.
Okay, now MBL will take the stone and he'll just look to continue the Krepos pushing, I guess. Hera maybe just wants to go up to Imp, drop a castle, treb all of this back. Um, yeah, here comes the castle from him. Um, yeah, that seems like a good castle protecting a lot of his eco here. Uh, but the Cab Archer are here. This can be a GG moment. Doubt is watching uh, with glee as this situation unfolds. Okay, villagers getting the crap post up. Which one will go up first? Castle, probably. Yeah, castle by a long way, but lots of villagers will die here. Hera's happy to sacrifice that, though. MBL just runs away. Yeah, and uh, Hera will lock down all this part of his base. So that's a really nice castle for him. He's still very vulnerable over here, but has 19 villagers on stone. Stone out here as well, so completely fine. And he's gradually taking back control of this part of the map. So 1,000 score lead for him, which is a lot, really a lot. Um, but let's see, MBL just kind of try and suffocate him here, but MBL's just so all in, it's crazy. Like, how did it, how did it come to this, <laughs> basically? Why does he have six on food? Like, he had map control and everything for such long periods there where he just wasn't being touched at home. But now it just feels like he's moments away from being defeated, right? Hera has slightly more army, way more villagers. And uh, it's only a matter of time before Hera clicks up, right? No. Where did all this food go? He's just pumping it into villagers. Okay. Now he's going to make some rams. Okay, rams make sense. But there are conics out on the field. Conics will be good against rams, obviously. Um, meanwhile, over here, cab archer and conic running in. Let's see. The cab archer conic combination can be quite strong here. Conic's going to do very well against skirmishers. And they're also just good at raiding, right? Yeah. Absolute beasts. Oh, get the kill. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's another castle crepos war situation happening up here. Onyx just smacking villagers with maces, as you do. But they're going to go down underneath castle fire uh, over here. Yeah, the castle goes up, no? Yeah, castle goes up again. This could be the GG moment. Once this MBL's committing here, but he really shouldn't. He really, really shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the crepos goes up. Oh no, that's devastating. That's absolutely devastating. But Hera's not on the way up yet. He's not on the way up to Imperial Age, so I maybe I thought that he was just wanted to get those castles up, go up to Imp, and uh, get Trebs out, but that's not what's happening. MBL has cut production of villagers for a while, I guess, but they both have equal idle TC time. It's just crazy. Eco KD, like, MBL has killed 55 villagers, and, MBL, and Hera still has the score, lead, the villager lead, so just crazy. All right. Uh, villagers going into wood here. Yeah, MBL is just done. I'm pretty sure he's done here. He's going to drop a castle back here. But what's his situation at home? Just being raided by knights. Nice play by Hera. Um, and yeah, all of this is idle. Villagers. It's a mess. Very vulnerable over here as well. A few knights will just ruin this for him. Uh, Have Archer still getting kills over here, but it's not going to be enough. Definitely not going to be enough. Prepo start going down to Rams. Skirmisher is being sacrificed. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Hera going to take all of this out with Rams. Here's the castle going up. This will deny some farms, but Hera doesn't really care. Hera has lots of space inside his base to get his farm in eco back uh, up and running. Emil going for another TC out here. Why he hasn't called the GG yet, I'm not sure. His eco is just an absolute shambles. Still making Cav Archer, but how many did he throw away? He threw away a lot of Cav Archer um, this game. Just YOLO'd them into the base, didn't micro them properly. And cart coming out, coming out for Hera. Skirmishers going down. Yeah, I mean, it's only a matter of time before Hera just goes up to Imp and takes complete control of this, right? So many on food. Has to feel that he's in complete control here. He can just take, he can finish the game with Knights, honestly. You just bring the Rams and just take out the TCs. Nothing really MBL can do about that. As 23 Cav Archer. But you never want to be defending with Cav Archer when you've kind of gone all in. Um, he's getting villager production going again. So he's on 80 now. So he has improved that situation. Going for another TC out here. So maybe it's not over. Um, Hera's army. I mean, yeah. We still fancy Hera's army here to take a 1v1 fight. He's not going for that. <laughs> Yet he just wants to defend keep his eco safe but he has 132 villagers he needs to go up to imp he really needs to go up to imp and not just take dodgy random golds like this it's so exposed mbl will see this immediately and can just bring the cab archers ever bringing his knights so maybe he wants to do this to force a fight but it just seems unnecessary villagers will die 
Terra's been forced off this gold here, so yeah, it kind of makes sense. He has to find another gold to uh, take. And be able to take this one. So maybe Hera feeling a bit starved of gold here. He has 15 on gold. There's This one is running out. And this one you can't take, so it's tough. Tough. He's very heavy on stone. Villagers are dying here anyway for him. So yeah, maybe he needs to sell some... He needs to drop a castle here, maybe. Keep all of this safe. A castle on this hill would be very, very tasty. Um, he will push this back, but yeah. Needs some way to defend here. Needs a way to get up to Imp. Uh, MBL, on the other hand, floating a ton of wood. Yeah, like, if he comes back into this game, it's just crazy. Like, his eco is just all over the place. Uh, so vulnerable, especially to knights. Uh, just... Hera selling food now. He's thinking about clicking up, yeah. So he just decides one second. Okay, I'll click up now. And just suddenly it looks like he can click up. Perfect. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. He's adding stables, so we'll go for more knights. Probably going to go for cavalier later on, and then can just ruin everything. Uh, MBL going for a very cheeky crep post here, but I don't think it's going to go up. Um, Hera going to be extra aggressive with this castle. Okay, yeah, wants to get it down on this gold as well. Maybe could have been back here, but whatever. It is what it is. And this should definitely go up, and this can be GG. It could definitely be GG. All right, here come the rams. Yeah, MBL can't fight this. He really can't fight this. He has to run away from this TC, basically. He will definitely lose this position. That's what he does. I think he realizes that. It's like, gonna lose his army or the TC, and most likely both, if he tries to fight on. Okay, these villagers are just running away, and yeah, feels over. Again, Hera on the way up to Imperial Age. And the question we're all asking ourselves is, does Cav Archer really counter the Teutons? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I guess they do. But uh, not the way MBL played them. He does have a lot of them here, but skirmishers. Skirmishers are a nice counter, I guess. But um, let's see. Let's see how long it takes MBL to resign. Table's gradually going down. Nothing MBL can do here. He has to... He has to yield this territory, right? There's absolutely nothing he can do. He can't fight this. When he, see, when he sees Harris in MP, he just has to call it. Um... Terra's just going to run in with knights and try and take out the TC. Yeah, there's no villagers inside this TC, so it's not doing anything. And skirmishers can just defend from the cab archer. What's MBL's plan? <laughs> Make more conics and look to take a good fight? Okay. Maybe delete the walls here. Um, yeah, so, okay. So Hera is throwing away some skirmishers here. Now can get involved with the knights. Um... Really just trying to take out the rams here. But Hera will take a good fight here, I think. Yep. Yeah. Now he's up to imp. GG, MBL. GG. It's over. Okay, Hera just adding more stables. He's getting plate burning armor, getting cavalier, getting chemistry. He'll get some trebs out, I guess. Or maybe some capped rams. No, trebs out on the field for him. And it's just over. MBL really and truly needs to call this now. He's making more conics, but he only has eight on gold. And yeah. How many relics does he have? Zero. Hera has four relics. It's well and truly over. Knight's gonna run away. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's needlessly long at this stage. Hera with nice castles up around his base, getting another TC out here because why not? Onyx gonna spot that though, but GG. Yeah, GG. Well played. Hera getting the win while having possibly a weaker sieve, right? Um, MBL going for Cav Archer, like we said. But wasn't able to get the win.